This week, we look at the Caribbean. Our first stop in Trinidad was the home of David Rudder, not only a leading soccer artist, but an authority on the history of soca and calypso. In the old days of calypso, the music was just a bed for the lyric because calypso is, uh, was mostly a lyrical form, is what was being said. So in the early days, there were about 10 or 12 basic melodies that they would sing most of the songs on because that was just a bed to create the drama. When Kitchener and these guys started to come through, they, they changed a lot of that because um, a lot of different melodies began to come in because Kitchener was not just a um, calypsonian, a creator of songs. He was also a musician. Well, the car came back from inspection. Boys, we went out on demonstration. You know, she drive 10 miles and a quarter. I told her, stop, turn this wheel over. Boys, it's now I start me fast driving. A lot of funny things start happening. You know, the wires cross one another. The water hose bust loose the radiator. Well, boy, the gearbox started a grinding. This gear so hard, I can't get it going. So I pull out me get leave a water fly to Shimafland. Trinidad and Tobago was a British colony until 1962. But perhaps a stronger influence on its musical culture was the presence of the American bases there in the 40s and 50s. The Americans being here sort of changed the, the, the music. Uh, if you listen to a lot of music of that time, you hear a lot of heavy jazz influences, a lot of bebop, because this was the you know, prevailing sort of music that was happening in the States. But lyrically, um, you found that they dealt with, the, the Calypsoians dealt with a lot of um, social feelings about their status as men in, in the society. You know, their, their feeling of sort of incompetence and impotence, because when the Americans came, so they sort of, um, a lot of these songs like um, Jean and Dinah and Margie by Kitchener and um, Rum and Coca-Cola, which talked about a Caribbean man feeling like, you know, he's not, not, not a man, not fully a man, you know. A lot of these songs came from that period, you know. Did you want to yeah, sure. Um, I guess like Kitchener's Margie is, is um, he's trying to, he's he's he's, he's, he's threatening to, to beat his, his woman because he heard that she was with American. He didn't see, but he heard, you know. Um, he said, Marjorie, I am fed up with you because I know you're not really true. Because every time I walk down the strand, I can hear you were talking to some Yankee man, I'm going to beat you. He was a big Yankee man, I'm going to beat you. He was a strong Yankee man, I'm going to beat you. They say he was a rough Yankee man, I'm going to beat you. You, know? you see, he was only going on hearsay because um, he was not going to tackle the American, but he can always beat his woman. the greatest show on earth. In their quest for authenticity, carnival band leaders become avid students of research as they delve into ancient civilizations and weird tribal customs. Calypso artists from this period are by no means forgotten. One of them who's still going strong today is the mighty Terra. Well, it wasn't very long after 1947, I become a Calypso king, and I also won the road march. In 1950, with a song called Chinese Children Calling Me Daddy, which goes like this. Since our small elevated women, and all I could get from them is false children, some with blue eyes and some like Chinese. Any kind of Chinese girl makes you stick me. But I waiting on her patiently. It's about ten months now she ain't kiss me. And you know the bold faced woman does tell me. Any kind of child left born in me house is daddy. Of course, a shame I don't tell nobody. Chinese children calling me daddy. You know my mother does want to beat me when. Chinese children calling me daddy. Follow a black like jet and she just like to have baby still. Chinese children calling me daddy. In the seventies, um, there was sort of social upheaval in Trinidad. We call the Black Power Uprising, 1970 Revolution. And many different names it went by. Because of that heavy social upheaval that took place, the society sort of moved a whole stride forward, you know. You know, you never realize how much you move, but 
um, you know, art tends to pick up on those vibrations and like Shorty, Lord Shorty was the first person to really, you know, pop, really pick up that vibration. Um, now here we have a slower rhythm, uh, more international lyrics and a finer quality music. This is Soka. Workers of iniquity, dig a pit for me. Now they're waiting for me to fall in. Trying to take me bread and butter with lies and propaganda. But they're fooling, they only fooling. I will not be afraid of what man can do. Man, you see, only vanity. Soka means the soul of Calypso. Now, quite often when people hear the soul of Calypso, they think it means American soul mixed with Calypso, but it's not that. It's the inner being of Calypso, the sweetness and the joy that comes from Calypso music. This is Soka. The kids are nursed on the milk of the Calypso beat. They are weaned on the tantalizing rhythm of the steel band. <laughs> I see a change in my style for just a little while and they laugh in utter amusement. Marcel Montano is a 12-year-old soca star who's already released two records and played to 20,000 people in Madison Square Gardens. Well, Clips of Soca for the past few years, you know, have changed a lot. Seeing as David came in and introduced new beats and there were different sorts of rhythms to change it to a sort of international market, you know, and it's been developing just great, you know. Soca comes from here, you know, it, um, it still comes from down. Why a lot of the music today, not only in Britain, but a lot of places around the world, popular music comes from sort of off the top of the head, you know, and we still come from down here and you can still have a good time with it while listening to the truth. Soka music is a happy music. And I think it can stop a lot of people from getting into the psychiatrist's couch. I think that the future of our music, since we, we learn to laugh at ourselves, I think this music is a perfect vehicle for the future, no stress. Bacalan woman is the, just um, the way I see the Caribbean woman of today. Independent, especially independent and liberated. And it also sort of reflects um, the way I see the music also, you know. It has, we have moved from that um, rum and Coca-Cola thing and now we're sort of seeking our own way in the world and coming, coming really good, you know, coming strong. Soka is something that gets in your blood. And I think that you should go for Soka. It makes you feel as though you are doing something and something good. Thank you.